Okay, we are here with a thrift haul. I'm going to show you some things that I got recently this past week at a Goodwill, a thrift world, and a consignment store. So hopefully showing you these tags and these brands can help you see maybe some new items that you didn't know about that are worth good money to resell. Um, these are things that I'm going to be putting in my eBay store and my Poshmark closet. I also list on Mercari and Depop, but I make most of my sales on those first two platforms. So if I look crazy, I just get on working out. If you are a previous subscriber, you know that I don't do my hair or makeup for YouTube. <laughs> I don't really, I just come as I am. This is like a paint stained Disney sweatshirt. And yeah, that's just like not how I am. So that's what you're gonna get here in this channel. If you're new, thank you for coming to check me out. I am a full-time reseller. I've been reselling for about six years. So I started a YouTube channel, I think a couple years ago. I don't even know when it was. I'd have to look back um, because I felt like I had a pretty good hang of it and I could help other resellers. So it's been fun growing the community here. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up. Here's my dog, Ellie. She is always has to investigate. Don't you? She always has to investigate the new clothes when they come in the house. So anyway, okay, that's enough of an intro. Let's just get into it. All this stuff's going to be listed here within the next few days. I do put everything into my eBay drafts and then I list out of my eBay drafts every day. So I do have people asking me that recently. Right now I'm putting out 16 a day. I upped it by one. So um, I don't know. I would like to get back to going to 20 a day, but I have to really, really work hard on getting inventory because I am being pickier and looking for things that resell for a higher value which means I'd have to go even more. In some stores, I'm going in more than once a week and I'm just checking through that new color tag. So we'll see, 16 for now. I list out of my eBay drafts and then I cross list from there. The first up is this new to me brand, um, maybe blanky, but not the like the maternity brand. It's Q-U-E at the end with a big red tag. I've never heard of this. It's made in the USA. Comps look pretty decent for these and they look like a good style. They're kind of like a high rise, loose fit, almost like this cargo pocket, um, wide leg pants. So we'll see how they do. This is my first time selling this brand. If you've ever sold this before, please let me know. And the sell through rate wasn't that bad on eBay. It wasn't hundred percent, but I think it was like really, really close. So, um, yeah, that was, that's just a new thing I'm going to try. Um, next up we have a Ming Wang cardigan. Luckily this Goodwill that I went to, brought out a decent amount of Ming Wang and I think exclusively Masuk in a plus size or extra large and a new rack and I scooped it all up. I was so excited. There was no other resellers that I know of there because when the new racks came out, no one was going to them <laughs> as far as at least for clothes. Like that's usually a way I can tell if it's other resellers. So Ming Wang 1X, um, the, ex the plus sizes I will list higher. And this one's a cool like white with black embroidery. I don't ever try to look up the exact style on these. I've sold this brand so many times that I just know um, kind of what I'm gonna list them for. So probably with the one X and higher, I list for like 50 or a little higher. And then for like large or smaller, I usually list for 40. And so that's kind of just what I do. Um, next up, we have a pair of jeans. These are Rock Revival which still sell well. This Goodwill shockingly did not have them priced up too much. They are a size 31 and they are a skinny style, but with some brands, the skinny is still selling. Usually I will take a picture of the back pocket like about this far away for my first picture for like Rock Revivals and Miss Me's. The things that have like a lot of features that people look for in the brand, um, I try to showcase those in the stock photo. So looks like they're pretty good condition on the bottom. Um, so that's just what I do. Most everything else, it's like a full picture of the item from the front. Okay. Um, next up, we have a pair of cabbie jeans, which I don't get very much, but these are the high-low crop. And I've sold this style well recently, and it has a good sell-through rate. So I decided I would get them again. These are a size 4. They're kind of like a light to medium wash and then they have like a raw hem at the bottom and my arms are shaking. <laughs> I did an arm workout today. Um, <laughs> anyway, here's the hem and they should sell pretty well. So we'll see if I can get through this. I hate when I do like an arm workout and then I go to a store that has like the high dresses and I'm like doing this and I'm like, ah, oh, my shoulder. So, okay, anyway, let's keep going. You guys probably literally don't give a crap. 
Um, these are Judy Blue in a size 14W. So, and they're a skinny fit. Um, my Judy Blues have been selling quickly, so I'm assuming these will do the same. They are a dark wash, high rise, um, stretch, skinny jean, no distressing. They usually sell between $25 and $35, unless they're new with tags, obviously. You can sell those for more. Okay, this is a swimsuit brand that I've never heard of, but the comps looks pretty good, so let me know if you've sold it before. Um, it is Andy. First, I thought it was A-N-D-F-I-E. I thought that D and F were like two different letters, but they're not. So that's what the tag looks like. And this is a size extra, extra large, which could be good. So it's like a green floral. Here's the like swimsuit bottom. And then the top is a one shoulder. So I picked it up because I'm looking for swimsuits. I hope the top's the same size. Okay, it is. I'm looking for swimsuits, but I don't want to pick up like just anything. Like I'm trying to be picky. So like I picked up a couple of miracle suits recently. I picked up a new with tags and Cole swimsuit. I would probably wouldn't pick it up used, but new with tags. I listed that for 50. So we will see how this one does. I always do my what sold videos on Friday. So come back on Fridays and see what some of this stuff is selling for. Um, this was with all of the Ming Wang. So I decided to look it up and it is Carolyn, Caroline Rose. It says made in the USA. So I was like, well, if it's with all that other stuff, it could be like the same vibes and it's a 1X. And so comps look pretty decent for these, for this brand too. It's like a sheer white open jacket, probably a three quarter length sleeve with these embroidered flowers um, and black trim. So let me know if you've ever heard of Caroline Rose, if you've sold it. Um, it's The trim is 100% silk. But like I said, since it was with all of the Ming Wang and Masuk, that's kind of why I looked it up. No, that's a bra for me. You guys don't care about that. Um, okay. Now, some of these came in sets. And I think this one did. So I'll have to find the matching cardigan. But exclusively Masuk in a size 2X. It's a great size. It's a black with this, like, embellishment on the front. And at my Goodwill, they just charged for the set. Okay, here's the top part, I think. And yeah, they charged $5, which is great. So I don't know, because this is exclusive Missook 1X. So I'm gonna have to like get out all of my pieces and see what matches up. Because if they're different sizes, I'll probably list them separately. But this does look like the same pattern as that um, tank top shell. So they probably are supposed to go together, but I don't know if I wanna list them together. Let me know in the comments what you guys would do. Um, I don't know, because I've sold the tank tops by themselves before. And being in a plus size, I think I could still get more money. So uh, I'll have to make a decision on that because they are different sizes, but they were sold together. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. This is a different one. It's like black with blingy again. Okay, this is exclusively Masuk Extra Large. This one has like a black crossover detail, like on the neck, and then the embellishments on the shoulder and the top. I probably will put like formal party dance because this does seem more of like a fancy design this brand is for like a more mature audience but i still get it because it sells great for me let's keep going with the same theme and the same brand possibly okay this looks like it's like the same style but in a dress this is exclusive to Masuk again in a size 2x i hardly ever find the dresses so i was really excited about this i'm gonna look up comps on like 2x black embellished dresses by this brand um it's sleeveless it looks like a maxi length so really pretty stretchy nice piece there and i think this is did it come with it i don't know wait here's a 1x oh my gosh i'm so confused i'm gonna have to look over all of this because it's such similar styles so black again with the embellishments. This one has like the one button on the top. Um, if there is a 1X tank top with this, ugh, I already forgot. I'll put them together. They always have shoulder pads, I feel like. Um, so yeah, here's that one with kind of like a little bow detail jacket. It keeps coming. I told you I was like so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Because I sell this good. It's not like a super exciting trendy brand, but I don't care. Um, exclusively Masuk. I don't need to keep showing you this tag. Extra large. This one's black with a purple trim. So um, this one, you could, 
t like title or keyword it with um, tank top or shell. Some people call that a shell underneath like the cardigan or like a blazer. So we have that. Okay, what size did I say it was? Extra large. And then the, okay, this is extra large too. So I'll list these together. So black with the purple trim. I feel like with the set, I can list it for higher than I normally would with just the jacket. Maybe closer to 60 or 70. I don't know for sure. This one has pockets. It is a little bit of a longer length. Since I don't sell sets a ton, I'll probably look that up on eBay. I like to use eBay a lot when I'm looking up comps because I can look at sell-through rate, which has been super important to me lately and very, very helpful. I was just actually talking to an Instagram follower last night about that. And she's like, oh, I should probably do that. Or she was like complaining about eBay because I was complaining about Poshmark because Poshmark's been horrible the last few days. You guys might hear me talking about this. Actually, I'm filming this before. You might have heard this on my Friday What Sold video, but it's been so bad and I don't know what's going on. But eBay has been pretty good. And I'm just like, I feel like I know what to do with eBay. Like they tell you what to do sometimes. So um, I was telling her, like, first of all, you have to have good items. You have to have good items that people want. I think you need to look at sell-through rate because, in my opinion, that's going to help things sell faster, which I feel like we all want. I mean, who wants to sit on something for two years? Um, and then you need to price things right. You need to title it correctly. You need to use the right keywords. And then you need to list every day. Like, consistency is so, so important on eBay. And I'm just like, if you do the things you're supposed to, for the most part, eBay is like pretty good for me. Like sometimes there's slow days, but they don't have like a really amazing day. So it all evens out, but it's like Poshmark, like what am I supposed to do? I'm getting lots of likes and I'm sending out lots of offers, but nobody's buying stuff. So I'm like, I don't know. eBay also has way more buyers. So anyway, I look up all of my comps on eBay lately because it tells me sell through rate. It's showing what's been selling the last 90 days. Poshmark, you have no clue if it was in a bundle and that price they're showing is like not even the price it sold for. It doesn't show you how many are available versus how many sold. So uh, that's just me. Okay, here's another masuk. Sometimes it just says masuk like this. This is zero X. So I'll probably just list it as an extra large, but this one's really pretty with like the black. And then I think this is like a reddish orange, um, probably th three quarter sleeve knit cardigan. It does have one button up on the top. So that's a nice, like, colorful one. And then here's another colorful one. A few of them were out on the floor already. So I think maybe they got brought out earlier in the day before I got there. This is Ming Wang, size 1X. This one's a black with, like, a neon greenish yellow. And then it has, like, this um, same color with the trim. This one is completely open, I think. Yeah, no buttons or zippers on that one. But that's exciting. This is the brand I see by Connie K. I like selling this brand. Finally, something different. Um, this is a size large. It is a like black and gold metallic jacket. They always have interesting buttons, like usually really big buttons like this. So kind of, I feel like very artsy. It's usually loose fit, relaxed, oversized. Um, so I probably will list this around 40 I don't know. Like I said, with some brands, it's really hard to find the exact piece. So I just have to go off of experience. And that's some things that you can't teach. <laughs> like you just have to have your own experience. Okay. This is like kind of funny, but I always get these when I find them because I always sell. <laughs> so it's like a lady in a bikini, a cherry bikini. But with summer coming up, like somebody's going to want this. It's called fun to wear. Um, it's just a one size. Somebody's going to want this when they go to the beach. So... Uh, I got that. Not me. I'm not going to be wearing that, but somebody will. Okay, next up we have an Eileen Fisher woman. I feel like this also could have came from the same person as the Ming Wang and Masuk because it's like a 1X. This is a black short sleeve top. I think it's 100% silk, which I've sold. I think I sold last time for $40. Yeah, actually it was a 100% silk tank top and a 2X for $40, but I'll probably still list this for $40 um, unless comps show me higher, but... That is going to be good. Next up, we have a gray. Oh, this is a piranha dress that I'm going to try. So I want to try a few like outdoorsy type dresses for this spring summer. Size small, but I have lost weight since I started taking care of myself. So we'll see how it fits. 
Um, one more Eileen Fisher plus size. This is a size 1X and this is a linen burgundy short sleeve top. I have been selling Eileen Fisher linen like crazy the last two weeks. So if you find it, pick it up now and get it listed. I think it's 100% linen. Um, yes, organic linen. And I will put that in the title, organic linen, because that makes a difference to some people. Plus size, that is amazing. And I'm even selling it in like the smaller sizes too. Okay, let's go on to the thrift world bag. And then we'll do the consignment store stuff last. Oh, this was just last night. So I haven't been to the store in a long time. Um, just because most of my thrift worlds charge more than my Goodwills. And I feel like they're taking a lot of stuff out for their stores or something because I haven't found as much good stuff as I usually do. So I haven't been going as much. Plus this location has double racks, which is like, there's a rack that's like the bottom of the clothes are touching the floor. And then there's another one on top of that. And it's such a pain to go through. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, I got good energy. And then after a while, especially if I'm not finding anything, I get like so tired of it. And then the aisles are so skinny and there's these women in here for some reason in this store, especially that are just like, they do not give a crap about being in your space. First of all, I was trying to look through the dresses and there was like people in the aisle, like three different carts. And I'm like, I couldn't even get through and they are like oblivious to me. They're just trying on dresses over their clothing, even though there's dressing rooms. I'm like, Ugh. so I like went around the other way. Then another time I'm going down an aisle, like I started at the end, I was three fourths the way down. Here comes a lady looking at clothes and my cart's here. And she just like pushes my cart out of the way to look at clothes. And I'm like, really? And oh, it's just like so annoying. And I'm just like, I don't care if people are close to me. Like that whole crap with COVID, like I don't give a crap. I don't care if I'm close to people. I, I go to Disney World all the time. So obviously I don't care about that. <laughs> but like, I don't like when you're rude. And to me, that's rude. Like when you move my cart to look at things, I'm like, you can just wait like there's literally a whole store. Okay, that's the end of my rant. Let me show you what I found. <laughs> I found some J. Jill puffer vests and vests are selling really good for me right now. This one is a size medium petite, but they are down puffer vests. This one's a cream color. It does seem like to be a little bit of a longer length for a petite. It does have zippers in the side, but this is a good like transitional piece from winter to spring. So I was like, yes, I've sold a couple of Talbots down puffer vest recently for like 30 to 40 dollars so um the medium one had a pretty good sell through rate not at 100 percent but close but i looked up talbot's puffer vest in size 2x and the sell through rate was like crazy let me actually look it up while we're on the video together so i can show you okay so i'm gonna put in j you know what i'll screen record this and then i can like put it up on the side because some people maybe are wondering how to look up sell three. Okay, so J. Jill down, wow, down, I am spelling found, are you seeing that? I can't type, down vest, holy crap, um, in a size 2X. I'm not gonna put colors or anything like that. So, is this J. Jill? Uh, yeah, why is it showing zero? Because I literally just looked this up last night. It says there's none available. Maybe they got sold since last night. Let me see how many are sold. And there's no matches. Okay, what am I doing wrong? J. Jill. Maybe I shouldn't put the period. J. Jill down vest 2X. Um, okay, for some reason that worked when I didn't put the period. Okay, so there's five available and then you filter by sold and then you can see at the bottom here there's 17 sold so that means there's way more sold than available which means the sell-through rate is really good which means most likely it's going to be selling really fast so it's like a 300 percent sell-through rate that's crazy so i'm like yes they were ten dollars but i think i can get at least 40 possibly more um the size is ripped out but by looking on like measurements of other ones i think they're a 2x this one is like a dark, like green color. I hope that wasn't like too time consuming or boring for you guys. But, oh shoot, I never stopped my screen recording. <laughs> and then this one's a black one. And this one has kind of like a Sherpa lining. Um, I'm assuming same size, it's cut out, like I said, but I'll do measurements um, down puffer vest. So that was really exciting to find those because I know they're selling really good right now. And the sell through rate is crazy, which, that means they're gonna sell fast as long as I don't completely 
overpriced them. Okay, I've never heard of this brand, but it's kind of funny. I love ugly. And here's the back, ILU. People told me this isn't an Australian brand. It's a size medium. These are wool. They're called the Slim Kobe Pant. And I found two sold comps on eBay for $50. So I'm like, okay, although wool is not going to be selling the best right now. So I don't know if they'll sell really soon. Um, I hope so. Otherwise, they'll probably sell like toward the end of summer when people are starting to look for fall. But that's a good, exciting brand. Um, another pair of cabbie jeans. I looked up this exact style. This is the high-low crop. They had at least 100% sell-through rate, if not higher. These are a size four. And they have this like dark like accent or like not really a color block, but kind of with the raw hem. So yeah, I think I can get at least 35 to $40 for these. Maybe we'll see. Sometimes I say that and I'll list it for that, but then I'll accept an offer of like 28 or 27 because it's like a super fast sale, but that was not super exciting, I guess, but that was good. Um, this is Garnet Hill extra large and Garnet Hill. I actually, for some pieces has not been selling that good for me. Like I had a cotton like sweatshirt dress that took forever to sell and it finally sold for like, I don't know, in the teens, but this is an extra large linen shirt. I think, I think it's a shirt or like a tunic top. So linen selling really good right now. This is a good brand for certain materials. It is um, a larger size, which is also good. So that's why I decided to pick that up. And then we have a newest tags packed dress. And actually, you know what? This brand doesn't even retail for that much to begin with. $49. Because I hear people like talking about it like they like selling it. I mean, whatever, that's fine. But I thought it was more expensive than this. I'm like, oh, well, no wonder my pieces aren't selling very well or for very much because it's not even worth that much. But I did look up comps in this dress and there's hardly any available and hardly any sold. So I think it's like newer. Plus mine's new with tags. It's a size medium. It's called the Aurora dress. It's like a fit and flare green with these purple flowers. Um, and it does have pockets, kind of a midi length. So I think I can still get at least $40 for this, probably close to retail. But I will tell you on the shorts and the pants that I've had from Pact for me, they sit for a long time and they don't sell for very much money. So you can make your own decisions on that. Let's move into the consignment store stuff. First up, we have a jacket by the brand Bryn Walker. I really wish this was a linen piece because of the season, but that's okay. This is a size medium. It's a full zip jacket. And this is a cotton wool viscose blend. So gray. Um, I was going to say herringbone, but I don't think so. So I don't know because I've never sold like a wool blend jacket from this brand. I tend to find a lot of um, linen or cotton, but I was excited to find that for like a good price. Oh, this is exciting. This is a Lululemon coat, puffer coat. So a lot of places like consignment stores are doing sales for their winter stuff. So go check it out. Um, this is a cream colored puffer coat by Lululemon. The logo is just the same color right there, but I think I can still sell this because I feel like it's kind of like lightweight. And so I think people could use it still like transition. Um, the tag is weirdly, pull tag is in the pocket and it is a size 10. Um, it's not down filled, it's just a um, polyester fill, but that's okay. Hopefully there's a dot in here somewhere so I can find the exact style. But I think I paid under $15 for this. So I was like, yes, please. I could wear this, but I don't know. I have a few coats and I don't really know if I want another one right now. Plus I feel like I'd rather just make the money. Okay. Um, we have a silk piece by Brochu Walker. This brand is expensive, but it doesn't always sell that fast. It depends on the piece, but if you price it right and it's like good material like this, it should do fine. So. This is a silk, very sheer, lightweight um, gray. Yeah, I would say a gray top. So that's nice. We have another sweater, like I said, clearancing out. And this is exciting. This is a Skull Cashmere Extra Small Cardigan. I've never uh, found this brand before, although this is different than the thrift store. Like I still wanna find it in the thrift store but I've never sold it, I should say. Um, it's a lambswool viscose angora cashmere blend. 
And here's what it looks like. It is cream and gray. I think it's reversible. Well, no, because then that would be on the outside. I guess it just shows the skull on the inside, but it also has it on the back, like more subtle. So I feel like this is super amazing. I'm excited to see what it goes for and really excited to get that listed in my closet. My eye itches. Oh, here's this. Let me see about that Lululemon coat. I only paid $9 for it. Huh. That's insane. Okay. Um, next up, we have a Brunello Cuccinelli skirt, which is ultra exciting. This is a size six. It is a cotton skirt and it's almost kind of like a cargo. Well, not really. I guess we're not in the side, but like pocket knee length skirt. Um, I don't know if this is going to sell super good right now. They originally had this for $120, but it kept getting marked down, marked down, marked down. And I kept watching it and then I eventually grabbed it at a good price. So I'm excited about this. I love selling this brand. Lately, it's actually been selling like fairly fast for me. Right now I have a jacket um, listed that I've gotten some lowball offers on, but I'm trying to hold out for more money. So we'll see how that goes. We have a pair of jeans by Rag and Bone, which I don't really get that much, but these are a good style. They're a size 25. I don't remember what the style was actually called, but they're like a flare with this like slit um, there. So I will look it up again on the, with the style number. Um, but they're definitely like a more trendy style, not their skinnies or like really puckered type of jeans. So yay for that. And then we have a pair of mother, which we always love selling. There's what the mother tag looks like. These ones are the looker ankle fray in the wash blackbird in a size 28. So I don't think these are going to go for as much as some of the other styles can, but I definitely wanted to still pick them up. Um, raw hem. So yeah, once they're on sale, I'm like, yes, I will take those now. Okay. And then the last thing I got, actually, no, it's not. The last thing in this bag is these pair of Nikes, which I like never get, but some people were selling these for like a hundred dollars or more. Mine are like a little bit more worn than the ones listed, like on the front little part there, if you can see that. Um, so I won't be able to list them as high, but still they're a size, uh, what does this say? They're a size eight, but is it a men's eight or women's? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, like I said, a little bit of wear, but not bad. And they're really kind of cool colors. So yeah, I don't sell like sneakers like this very much, but it's really easy on Nike to look up the style. It's like right inside. Okay. Last thing I think is a couple bags and a pair of shoes. Yeah. So this first one is a Michael Kors bag, which is really pretty. It just has this top handle. It's like a square with these silver studs and then along the bottom as well. It's in really nice condition. Uh, here's the inside, which you're not really going to be able to see much, but it is really clean. It's Michael Kors regular Michael Kors, not Michael Michael Kors. I'm trying to see if there's any tags or anything. There is a little tag in here that has like a number. So I might be able to look up the style with that. Otherwise I'll probably use like a Google lens, but this was, I think $10 or less. So I'm like, okay, yes, I will pay that for a good bag because I don't have that many purses for sale. I've gotten a few actually at a recent thrift store that hasn't been marking them up a Brahmin and a Dooney. But, and then this one, I feel like I was kind of lucky because, um, I snatched it and some lady came back in the sale room. Apparently she was in there a little bit ago and she's like, Oh, did you grab that coach purse? And I was like, Oh yeah, I got it. But she was super nice about it. She's like, Oh, that's a great deal. I don't really need another bag anyway, but it's so pretty. Um, I feel like it's in like new condition. It is almost like a tote style black with the pocket up here. It has like a little, um, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> and like a bag charm right here. They originally were trying to sell this for $72, but I think I got it for like 12 or 15. Um, so yeah, this is really nice. It comes with a crossbody strap on the inside. And then let me take out all this stuffing so I can show you what it looks like and then I'll put it back in. But um, black, a pocket there. 
And then um, right here is like the little Creed tag, but there's not a number on there, which they don't always have. So I will probably use like, well, my Google Lens doesn't work on my phone. If you watch my channel, you know that. Eventually I'll get a new phone. I think I have an iPhone 11, but it still works and I keep would rather spending my money on vacations so I don't get myself a new phone. Um, but I could probably use Poshmark lens or I'll have Ryan do Google lens for me. But this is very, very nice. So I was really excited that I grabbed that at such a cheap price. And then the last item I got, this video is definitely not as short as I thought it would be, a pair of Fly London shoes, which I haven't got in a really long time. So I was excited. It usually has this little Fly logo right there. They are wedge lace up and there is a style number and they're a size 40. So like a women's size 10. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And then it also says it on the bottom. So that's my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite item was. I don't even know because I feel like I got so many good things. I always love selling Brun Brunello, but I feel like that piece is just like, eh. Maybe this gold cashmere cardigan because I feel like that's really exciting, but I really like that coach purse. So anyway, okay. I'll be back on Tuesday with another haul for you. Hopefully I can find some good items by then and show you what I picked up and how much they're selling for. I know you guys like those videos. Leave any questions you have down below and I'll try to answer them either in the comments or in a video or both. Um, I'm here to help you. So yeah. Okay. That's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.